The first step in the patient lashing process is to create a hasty harness. We're going to secure the hasty harness to the stokes using two opposing half hitches located at or just above the patient's waistline. Using about 33 feet of 1 inch tubular webbing, we're going to locate the center of the webbing and tie a girth hitch around the foot end of the stokes basket. We're then going to wrap the webbing over the dorsal surface of the foot, often referred to as the bootlace area. Wrapping the webbing behind the foot, the ankle area, and back over the dorsal surface, we're going to create an X. After we create a nice X pattern, we need to create the foot stand. We do this by passing the webbing underneath the arch of the foot. After we create our foot stand, we're just going to take the webbing and attempt to wrap it on the interior posts of the stokes. We want to make every attempt to try to keep everything off of the top rail of the stokes basket. We pass the webbing around the posts and we're going to proceed up and find the other side creating an X pattern once again. Now our goal ideally is to get three crosses, three X patterns over our stokes basket and the ideal locations are going to be the area of the knees, the groin, and the intermammary line. When we reach the area of the upper chest, we can go ahead and put a fist around the area of the sternum. That's going to ensure we have enough room to put a cervical collar on and allow a proper respiratory function. To secure the webbing to the top of the stokes, we're just going to make a full wrap around the vertical post. This will allow us to work out any excess slack. We're going to work from the foot and just take out all that slack, work our way up back to the patient's head to the top of the stokes. Once we've removed all the slack out of the system, it's time to secure it to the top of the stokes. We do this using two opposing half hitches. The half hitches alone are fine, but it can't hurt to add an overhand safety knot into the mix. Thank you. 